Hello and welcome to PharmaCam Insight. In this video, we will see part 3 of Woodward Fisher rule where we are going to assign the lambda max or absorption maxima to the aromatic compounds. So let's get started. Aromatic compound, let us see the structure. The typical aromatic compound is a benzene ring which has conjugated double bonds in a ring. Further, when this benzene ring is substituted with any carbonyl compound, it has more pi to pi, tra pi star transitions, stronger transition. Further, when there is any group or functional group present at ortho, meta or para position of this benzene ring, it has an additional or incremental effect on the lambda max of this particular compound. So let us see the values, base values for different aromatic uh, carbonyl compounds. If the carbonyl compound is acid, then the base value is 230 nanometer. For ester, the value is same, that is 230 nanometer. For aldehydes, the base value is 250 nanometer, whereas for ketone, it is 246 nanometer. Let us see the different increments for different functional groups at different positions. So these increments depend on what kind of functional group is present and what is its position. Here are different uh, values given for your reference. Guys, there is no shortcut. You have to remember all these values. Let's move ahead for the examples. Example 1, we have para amino benzoic acid. Here, uh, we have kept base values and incremental values ready for our reference on the right-hand side of the slide. So, it will help us to understand the calculations better. Let's move ahead with the example. We have labeled the ortho, meta and para positions initially for better understanding. So, here we have the carboxylic acid group and hence the base value for aromatic acid is 230 nanometer. Let us see the increments due to functional group. We have a mine group at para position. The increment for this is 58 nanometer. When we calculate these base values, 230 plus 58 nanometers, we have 288 nanometer as the lambda max or absorption maxima for this particular compound. Example two, let us see the base value. We have aromatic acid for which base value is 230 nanometer. Then we have OH group at ortho position and a amino group at para position. So the OH group at ortho position has an incremental value of 7 nanometer, whereas the amino group at para position have the incremental value of 58 nanometer. So when we calculate, we get the lambda max as 295 nanometer. Let's move ahead. Here we have example 3. Again, we have aromatic acid group. So the base value is 230 nanometer. Now here we have three OH groups, but at different positions. So the groups at meta position have incremental value of 7 nanometer. And the OH group, which is at para position, have the increment of 25 nanometer. So when we calculate, we get the lambda max as 269 nanometer. Let's move. Example 4. So here we have aromatic ketone. And the base value for that is 246 nanometer. Let us see the incremental values. Okay, we have a ring residue at ortho position. And incremental value for the same is 3 nanometer. Again, we have one amino group at para position and the incremental value is 58 nanometer. So if we calculate, we get the lambda max or absorption maxima for this compound is 307 nanometer. Example 5. Okay, here it is interesting. Uh, we have aromatic aldehyde and the base value for which is 250 nanometer. Then we have para position chloro group. The base value, uh, sorry, the incremental value is 10 nanometer. And hence, when we calculate, we get the lambda max as 260 nanometer. Now, let us see one more example where we get 
the same lambda max value but the compound is different so here we have similar groups uh, such as aromatic aldehyde and a chloro group at para position along with that we have two extra or additional chloro group at ortho position however the chloro group being at the ortho position have no increment in the uh, base value or the absorption maxima they do not contribute and hence the lambda max for this, this compound is same as that of the first one which is 260 nanometer example 6 let's give the numbering for the positions here we have aromatic acid group the base value for it is 230 nanometer let us see the increment at various position we have alkyl ring residue at para position and one more at meta position so the incremental value for the same is 10 and 3 nanometer respectively for the one more group that is bromo at meta position give the increment of 2 nanometer so if we calculate we get the lambda max for this particular compound to be 255 nanometer okay here we have aromatic ketone group let us name them first aromatic ketone group the base value is 246 nanometer let us see the increment at different position okay we have one ring residue at ortho position the incremental value for them is 3 nanometer then we have one OCH3 group which is nothing but OR at para position so the incremental value for this is 25 nanometer when we calculate we get the lambda max as 274 nanometer that's it for these examples if you want me to solve more examples please comment in the comment section so we can take more examples for your practice purpose thank you like share and subscribe these videos